Good morning, everyone. Oh, excuse me if I'm talking too loud. I've got my music blasting real loud in my ear. Don't realize how loud I'm talking. As always, I wasn't planning on getting on here this morning. But I just want to tell y'all about my morning. God kind of switched it up on me this morning. Um, on my prayer walk uh, downtown, which was a good prayer. I was out of breath today, though. But at any rate, uh, on my way coming back, God had made me make a pit stop. I ran out of grits at home. And I usually don't shop in Food Lion. <coughs> I have my reasons why. Usually I do most of my shopping in this area at the local Piggly Wiggly in Clover. Or I drive over about 10 minutes away and go to um, Walmart in Lake Wiley. But anyway, I had parked in the McDonald's parking lot. So I says, okay, since I'm right here, I'm just going to go walk over to Food Line when I come back from my prayer walk. And as I'm walking through the parking lot, two women was coming out, going to the vehicle as I was getting ready to go in full line. So I spoke to both of them. And by the way, I'm wearing my sweatshirt this morning to advertise my church. But anyway, any rate, um, and I was almost at the door. And one of the women that I bypassed was a young black woman. And she just grabbed my spirit. And so I turn around and yell out, sis. And she was hesitant. She looked my way, but she wasn't sure I was speaking with her. And then when I point at her, she she stood at her car door. And I had never really give a presentation. I don't really have a planned presentation when I evangelize the people on the streets. But I did a simple presentation that I end up sharing with several people that I want to share with y'all because witnessing, street witnessing can be very simple. And a lot of times we make it too complex and too loud. <laughs> Anyway, I won't go there this morning. Um, but I just walked up to her and uh and I said to her, What are you doing Sunday at 10 30? And she looks at me and smile, and uh, I don't remember what she, how her response was, because I was shocked I would even said it that way. And I says, she probably said nothing because the way I answered. I says, You should come to my church. And she says, well, I didn't say Sunday. Let me, let me correct that. I said, what are you doing this Sunday is what I said. And uh, she says, nothing, I believe, is what her answer was. I said, you should come to my church. And I was surprised by her response because her response was, what time? Ooh, that's a good answer. I mean, that's a good question. <laughs> and so I said, 1030. And she says, uh, uh, where is it? I says, oh, it's right there. You know where Bojango is? Is right across the street from Bojango. You'll see a sign that says Restoration Point Church. And she's smiling. I'm hopeful on that one. I believe that sister probably would show up. She told me her name, but I don't remember her name. But anyway, so then I'll go into Food Lion to go get my grits. Got in line. And uh, there was an older black woman operating the cash register. And there was a, a middle-aged white woman, but probably around about my same age, who came in line behind me. Um, and I saw her going in when I first got into the food lion parking lot, but I was too far to, to approach her. And so I proceeded to invite this older black woman. I says, hi, how are you this morning? She says, good. I said, what are you doing 1030 Sunday morning? And she goes to name her church. I would be like, oh, praise the Lord, I said. So I turned to the, the white sister and I said, well, what are you doing 1030 Sunday morning and she looks at me and smiles she says I have no idea I said you should come to my church so I tell her what the church is and she says why are y'all doing something special this Sunday I says no I'm just inviting you N uh, nothing special going on but the Holy Spirit would be there and she smiles <laughs> so hopefully she will show and then I walk through the parking lot heading back to my car because you know like I said already I'm parked in um I'm tempted to jump out the car and fight these older two women, but I'm not going to do it. Um, it's hard for me not to evangelize. But anyway, um, uh, so I was coming back and uh, a white, white older brother uh, was getting his truck. And so I called him. I turned around. 
because I'm almost at my vehicle. And I call him and I walked over and he, he meets me halfway. And I said, what are you doing, brother? 1030 on Sunday. And he names his church. I like praise the Lord. We we end up getting into a very long conversation um, because he mentioned what he does for a living part time. And so um, then I proceeded to my car, got into the McDonald's parking lot. Two brothers were walking out of McDonald's around the same time I arrived near the door. And um, it was a white brother and a black brother. And I stopped and I asked him, what are you doing? 1030 on Sunday. Or what are y'all doing? And uh, the black brother answered, uh, I would be at, he names this church. I was like, praise the Lord. So I turned to the white brother. And I says, what are you doing then? And he says, I would be at church too. I said, praise the Lord. So then he turns around, the black brother turns around to me and says, well, what would you be doing at 1030 on Sunday? I said, I would be at Restoration Point Church right there across the street from Old Jagos. And he's like, oh, okay, you're preaching something? I says, no, sir. <laughs> just just inviting people to church. He's like, okay. And so we headed off. Evangelizing could be that simple. That probably is going to be my new <laughs> presentation because I've never really had a presentation when I evangel evangelize. What are you doing Sunday at 1030? So everybody's on my page. What are you doing this Sunday? Find your local church and head into God's house. All right. Love you guys. Stay in God's will, whatever that is for you. Deuces. Peace.